Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna learn how can you install the JDK 8 version in your new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor or the MacBook Air with the M1 processor. So guys, we'll be learning how to install JDK 8 for any of the Apple Silicon processor MacBooks. And this video is gonna be defined into two different sections. One would be for MacBooks with the Intel variant. So for example, if you want to install the Intel variant of JDK 8 in your Apple Silicon and next we'll be having a look how can you install the JDK 8 version of Apple Silicon in your new MacBooks. So we'll be having a look at to the both of the things and by the way the timestamps are down over here onto the timeline. You can switch to any of the sections preferably wherever you want to shift and let's get started. And let's try to install Homebrew. Now Homebrew is a package manager for Mac OS. That is required over here because we'll be installing JDK 8 for the Intel Macs as well. So let's get into the terminal and try to run the command. So we are into the terminal. Now let's enter the command and end. Okay. So we are now asked over here for the password. So I'll just enter the password. Yes. It's saying that the Xcode command line tools will be installed since I haven't already installed Xcode. So it will install the Xcode command line tools. So I'll just press return to continue. And it will take some while to install the homebrew because it's downloading the xcode command line so it can take approximately 2 to 10 minutes depending upon your internet connection speed so we'll just try to fast forward this so that it becomes really easier and quick for you So finally we are done with installing homebrew and now there is a warning that says that op slash homebrew slash bin is not in your path. So the path for homebrew is not set up so we need to set that up and it has become really easy by the way there is already given here. Next steps run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. So we just need to copy these two commands. I'll just copy this up. Okay and I'll just run this. Okay so paste it and so done. So if we just go here to echo path, we can see that our homebrew is into our path. And if I just run brew, I can see all the commands for homebrew. So homebrew is now installed successfully. Okay. Now let's head towards the next step. Now the next step is installing Java. So firstly, we'll be installing Java for x86 architecture that is for the Intel Max. So let's get ahead with the first thing that is for the Intel Max. So for installing for the Intel architecture, you need to install Rosetta 2 because it will be utilizing Rosetta 2 for the translation. So let's go ahead, copy the command and paste it and hit return. So it asks for the password Enter the password for your computer. It says type A to agree. Yes, we agree to it. Type A, enter. It's installing. Installation for the Rosetta is now done. Let's go ahead. Now install Java using Homebrew. So let's copy up the command once again. Paste this and hit return. It's installing. It will take a few minutes. It's done. Let's go ahead. Copy the another command for final installation of OpenJDK. So Oops, there is an error. So guys, I've already given you an optional command. So if by the way that command fails in, there is an optional command given that. If it doesn't work, try using the other, other command. By the way, all the instructions are down into the description below. You can go ahead to that link and have a look. So if you want to follow along with this complete procedure of installing, you can just very easily follow this. Okay. So we'll be fast forwarding this once again because it will take us some while, some few minutes for installing it. Okay, so now Java is installed for the x86 architecture. If we go around into our computer, then Macintosh library and into the Java folder, Java virtual machines, we can see here adopt open JDK 8. So this is for the x86 architecture. So this is how you can install the JDK 8 in your new MacBook Pro with the Apple Silicon processor. And now let's get ahead to installing the JDK 8 that runs onto the Apple Silicon without any problem. So let's get into it. So for Apple Silicon, you need to install Azure Zulu Open JDK 8 for ARM processors. So the link is down in the description below. So I'll click here simply. 
and there is a direct link for the dmg file also available so i have also pasted that into the instruction sheet so you can just follow along i'll download this okay just a few seconds to download yes it's done so i'll open this now this is opened up so it says that double click to install so i'll double click this and continue install enter the password installing the software yes, that's done close move to bin i do not want the installation file now into the java virtual machines you can see there are two folders one is for the x86 architecture and the other one is for the arm processor that is the apple silicon okay so both the versions are installed now we need to set the path for java home so that's really easy so we just need to get into the terminal once again okay i'll head over to the instruction sheet yeah now open the terminal type nano zshrc now we are here into this nano to set the path so i have already provided you the path as well okay so i'll just paste this contents slash home okay so guys we have set the path for both of the jdk variants the first path that we have here for the zulu this is for the apple silicon and the next one is for the intel max so i'll try to comment up the second one because i don't need the x86 architecture jdk to be running if you want that to be running so you just need to comment the apple silicon one that, that is the first one so you if you just add hash before the X path so it will be commented out okay so right now i need the apple silicon version so i'll be commenting the x86 okay so this is now commented press Control x y and return so it's now saved now we need to source the file so let's copy and paste source and now if you want to check if the java home path is set correctly so you just need to paste this echo java home now you can see that java home path is set up correctly so guys this is how you can install jdk 8 and your new macbook pro with the m1 pro processor or with the m1 processor and if you've got any more questions please leave that down into the comment section below we'll be happy to read that and reply to you if you liked our video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye